It is time to keyframe a walk cycle for the fur dude character. This will involve new tools such as the channel list to pin down channels for blocking out the motion. The results will be a quick and dirty walk cycle designed to see fur dude in action. The goal is to map out a basic keyframe workflow to learn a bit about how to animate KinFX rigs. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back up to the object level and we're going to create a new uh, geometry object where we will um, put the rig that we're going to animate. We could animate the test rig, uh, but for now we're going to do a fresh one. So we're going to double click into there, this new one we called Walk Cycle, and we're going to get the Fur Dude animation rig and enter the, to place that into the scene. So. We don't want to use this desktop. Let's go to a, a, a desktop design specifically for animation. Now, at first we can't see the object. That's because uh, we hid everything at the object level. We're going to dive back down to the geometry level here for this rig. And then we'll put the display uh, or the handle tool so we can see all the handles and controls that we want to work with on the rig. So we've got a nice right view here and a 3D view that will help us as we pose and rig this character. Now. We're going to take the channels and we're going to create channel groups out of them. And this takes all the the panel, the folders we have in our in our character's UI and turns them into channels. Now what this means is, so let's say I click on on the COG. See how this channel list shows me everything that I have selected that I if I was to press K or to keyframe that right now, that's what would be keyframed, is just that. But with these channel groups, we can pin them and we get a big long list of all the channels. And so if we now press K to set a keyframe, we keyframe everything. So we can, this is allows us to block out the animation uh, because we can work with all the different parts of the rig, not just the parts that are selected. Um, now you may want to just work with the legs or just work with the body and do them as separate. Uh, but for this exercise, we're just going to block this out. So we do one neutral pose at, at frame one, and then we'll press K again at frame 10. But this time we'll pose it. So in Houdini, you can set a keyframe and then pose afterwards, and all the up, all the keyframes will update. So sometimes it's actually better to keyframe first, because that way you don't accidentally forget to keyframe on a particular pose. Um, and then it just gives you the freedom to key everything and then just pose. And so we're going to create the first pose is basically the left foot forward and we're you know we're, we're going to rotate the ball of the foot rotate the the heel up so we get sort of a walking uh, motion um, let's just move that forward a little bit okay now we're sorry now we're at frame 15 so now we move the foot forward now we're going to grab the right foot and we're going to lift it up now we do have to get that ball in there and pull that back because it wouldn't be rotated um, when the, everything's lifted and we probably wouldn't lift the foot quite as much. And the COG probably we would tilt that a little bit because as the, the one foot, uh, the right foot is raised, the body can rotate a little bit off to the side. So there we go. So we get some good motion go started in there. And we press uh, at frame 20, we keyframe again. And this time we move the right foot forward and we move it forward and we tilt it, bring the COG forward and it goes down a little bit. Um, we want to get some bend in the knee. So let's just jiggle that a little bit till we get, there we go, we get some bend in the knee. And then we can take the body back to the middle and rotate the ball. So we want the other foot, the left foot to sort of stay stationary during that time period as we keyframe through that. Perfect. Uh, and now we're off to frame 25. Now you'll notice at this point that I'm, I haven't pressed K for keyframing yet. So you can pose without doing that. Uh, you just gotta be absolutely sure you do press the, the, the K to keyframe. Otherwise you might lose the pose if you move forward in time. So just make sure we get that. And so again, we're creating a pose where the left foot is lifted up, the body's tilted to, to match that, and um, along the way there we did press K to keyframe that. Um, and if, you know, if you're not 100% sure about it, maybe you want to just tweak it a little bit after pressing, after keyframing that. 
Now we're going to go to frame 30, which essentially is going back to the pose that we had back in frame 10 uh, with this foot forward, rotate it up, uh, and the COG over. Now, you know, each person can keyframe you, whether you want to do a walk cycle or run cycle, you can set this up accordingly. This is just showing you how to manipulate some of these, these controls, select them, pose them, um, and keyframe. And at any point you can go back to the keyframe and tweak it. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, you might want to bring the spine joint in. You might want to bring the, the, um, the mouth joint in. So we've continued uh, with that keyframing to get uh, a full from frame 10 to frame 50. So sort of just repeating those various steps that we did for the first um, 20 frames. And this given us uh, a sequence that we can then export and use to add fur and render. So we're just going to call this um, output as a um, geometry sequence. And we're going to use this to add fur. Uh, and we just want to we want to get frame one to frame fifty, and we're going to save this as a geo sequence to disk. And we put it into a walk directory, so it'll be easy to find. Now we're also going to um, delete all the color attributes, and the reason for that is we want to send a version of this off to USD so that we can assign textures, and it's just a little nicer if you don't um, have colors on any of the geometry when you apply your texture maps. So this USD file will be used later uh, during the rendering stage of this tutorial.